Hey y'all, Barley here, and today we're going to be flying from Zapata, Texas, across the Rio Grande to Tampico, Mexico, and I'll explain why after this. That's our route from uh, Zapata, Texas, across the Rio Grande, and down to Tampico, Mexico, where we do have an operations center. And the reason we're going down there is because we have some base camps. And I've decided that uh, the Tampico area has all sorts of natural lakes and rivers, that that's where I want to put my hunting camps. So uh, I'm using the King Air to fly the base camps down because there was no place in Mexico to buy a base camp. Not one single place. Closest was uh, Zapata, and I forget there was one more uh, uh, border town, border city that, that had some, uh, but Zapata works just fine. So we'll be taking off from there and taking them down there, and then I have a Cessna 208 down there that I'll be using to uh, pl plant the base camps. Hopefully later today I have some yard work that I need to get done, so one flight for sure. Maybe some base camp planting this afternoon or this evening. We will have to see. Real life gets in the way. All right, we can minimize that. Uh, Navigraph did not have a chart for this airport. Um, so I had to go to Sky Vector. So that I could figure out how the uh, things are oriented. And that's here. So there's my uh, Addis AWOS, my weather service for this airport. That's, and uh, as far as the runways, it's 12 and 30. And uh, we'll be taking off on 129. That's the runway heading. Um, this is our sim brief flight plan. It looks just like the thing in the simulator on Navigraph. But I loaded it. It's like that. All right. With that a uh, bunch of talking done, why don't we get this bird in the air? So first we have to make sure that pre-flight stuff is done. Everything over here is off, on, or auto. All these switches are off. Parking brake is set. Gear handle is down. Ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, takeoff. Trim is set, flaps are up, throttles are back, props forward, fuel condition is cut off, oxygen is on, uh, trim is neutral, rudder boost electric trim is on, bleed air is enviro off, everything else should be off. Radar is off. Yep, check oxygen levels. Uh, oxygen is full. Hey, that means we're ready for the double beast, does it not? It does. So that is the battery and our beacon. Okay. Uh, and now we need master power because we need to get at us. And 118225, I believe, is what I said. Hopefully that works. Hello, there we go. Automated weather observation one six zero zero Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility six. Sky condition clear. Temperature two six C. Dew point one zero C. Altimeter two nine or eight zero. Eight zero. Hello, Papa Yankee. Automated weather observation one six zero zero Zulu. We're done with her. Okay. And then while the co-pilot is getting our clearance, we will continue our pre-flight. Center Barley zero one ready to copy IFR clearance to Tampico. Barley zero one is cleared to Tampico Airport. Is filed. Climb and maintain twelve thousand feet. Departure frequency is one two seven decimal eight squawk six four five seven. Clearance void 30 minutes from now. Barley 01 cleared to Tampico Airport as filed. Climb and maintain 12,000 feet. Departure is 127 decimal 8 squawk 6457. Clearance void 30 minutes from now. Barley 01 read that correct. Good day. 
Okay, runway heading is bugged. IAS for climb is set to 140. So the uh, autopilot is set. Altimeter is set. EPS is set. That is all the setting we need to do there. We aren't going to be pushing back because there are no ground services here. He is a figment of your imagination. But we will be going to the taxiway over there and then going down the runway to turn around and then take off. A. Us. Uh, I believe that is all the things we were we can do before we just need to get some engine started. So let's just do that, shall we? We shall. Okay. Clear prop! Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. Okay. Alright, ITT's coming down, oil pressure's coming up. Start her off. And high idle. Good load on the generator. Now let's get number one started. ITT's coming down. Oil pressure's rising. Start her off. Turn on the other generator. Check the other generator. Both generators have a load. Battery's coming down. Uh, let's tell the cargo to please fasten its seatbelts. Lights on the subject for us. Uh, systems time. Inverters on. Fleet air on. Auto. Don't need the cabin master. Don't need the rear fan. All right. We are going to 27,000 feet. that. Uh, one, two, three greens. Right, battery is charged. We can pull this back down to low idle. Gyro is slaved. And aligned. Alright. Autopilot is set. Altimeter is set. GPS is set. Engines are nominal. We are good to go. All right. Uh, there's nav and taxi lights. And let it let us tune local traffic and uh, let them know that we will be taxiing. Kilo Alpha Papa Yankee Traffic Barley 01 is taxiing to runway 12. Parking brake is off. We're going to pretend that he is not there because he shouldn't be. There are no ground services at this airport. Wind is confirmed to be extremely light, but coming from the direction in front of me, so we will continue. Okay, we'll do a run-up. I don't want to do it on the runway, so... Let's see, there's nobody behind us. We'll just do it here. Okay. 
Parking brake is on. That's no, really. All right, auto feather enunciators are lit. Pulling two, one goes out, storing two. There we go, pull one, two goes out, restoring one. Okay, then once torque gets evened out, we'll push 1800 RPM. And feather each. Okay, all good. Run up complete. Go ahead and arm auto feather. Alright, let's check enunciators. Cleared. Clear. All tested. The only thing we haven't tested is fire detection. Now we have tested fire detection. Yes, I'll be leaving on the fourth. Oh, he's leaving on the fourth, huh? Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Parking brake is off. Let us be gone. Okay, nobody on approach from either direction, nothing on the runway. Oh, we'll taxi our butts to the end of the runway. Oh, the, run the wind kind of shifted, but that's perfectly okay. Like one or two knots. All right, run-up is complete. Before takeoff checklist is complete. Electrons all look good. Systems, one, two, three greens. Engines look good. Fuel is balanced and as expected. Okay, so A nifty little turnaround area. Guess I could have done my run up here. I didn't know it was here. Yes, I'll be living on the fourth. Well, if this is where we always have to come to buy our base camps, I guess we'll we'll be more familiar with the airport next time. Hey, one notch of flaps going in. Auto feather is on. With a high idle, and all our lights are on. And check, nobody on approach, nobody on the runway. Alright, let's go ahead and announce. We'll select our runway. It is one, two. already on. Okay, so we will Kilo Alpha Papa Yankee Traffic Barley 01 taking off runway 12 departure to the south. Uh, everything looks good.
Takeoff power is set. And rotate. Gear up. Airborne time logged. up. Oops. Now let's tune Houston Center. Center Barley zero 01 is passing 900 feet, climbing 12,000 feet. Barley zero 01 Houston Center altimeter 29 decimal 86. Continue to tell by as planned. Okay, so we have been cleared. Move to our flight plan. Bring the engines down to about 90%. The yaw dampener is on. And now that we're basically on our navigation course, I'll let the autopilot have it. Always nice to hand your autopilot an already trimmed up airplane. It appreciates it. it says so every Christmas. Alright, let's do our... Alright, 90% in one, ITT less than 785, props full, prop sync on, cabin pressure is set, landing lights are off, y'all damper is on, that is after takeoff checklist complete. There looks great. Barley zero one contact Monterey Center on one two five decimal six. Good day. One two five decimal six for Barley zero one. Monterey Center Barley zero one is passing eight thousand nine hundred feet, climbing twelve thousand feet. Barley zero one Monterey Center altimeter two nine or decimal eight five. Continue to tell by as planned. Okay. 
This is a short flight. Once we get into cruise, I'm going to brief possible approaches because of the haze. At the moment, I'm expecting 1-3, but that could change. And hopefully, we'll get ILS. Wait, which is it? ILS DME 1 or LOC Runway 13? I want ILS, but okay. Barley zero one. Okay, so since we're going on to flight level one eight zero, put this to standard pressure. Monterey Center Envoy Tree Six Niner One Flight Level Tree Six Zero. Envoy Tree Six Niner One Monterey Center. Continue as planned. Since we're coming from the north, I would expect no procedure turn. Expect them to vector me to here to D eight point zero eight miles out at eighteen hundred feet. Drop to fourteen hundred. And then at Yeah, we'll be using ITAM 109.3. We'll go ahead and put in the Tampico VOR in case. Same thing here. Flight level two six zero Barley zero to see but there's a possibility that they'll want us to go that the initial approach fix is Tampico so let's flip the radios it 
So they might have us come, even though we're coming basically like here. I, I, I think they would. I would think they would vector us in, but it's real. It's possible that they might make us come down here. Then we would do. I mean, we could do a parallel. And that would put us roughly on that, you know, turn, intercept the 3392, and then just hold it from. And when we get out here, we go to heading mode, left turn, and then flip over to the ILS. It's either that or do the turn, get established on 139, then flip over to the ILS. Either one would work. We'll see what they do to us. What would be pleasant is if they would just vector us onto whatever waypoint that is, uh, CL13 or something. I don't think they're going to. I don't think they're going to be that nice. I really do believe they're going to have us come in at 2000 to the VOR do this procedure turn descend and maintain 7000 feet expect ILS 1 runway 29 or approach via Mike Tango Yankee transition no. clear yeah. to Mike Tango Yankee which point do a teardrop so that we're coming in on 319 then descend turn to the 339 feet, from Mike Tango, Yankee transition, clear to Mike Tango, Yankee Irwin leases 1356. That'll be fun. Descend and maintain flight level 340, Delta 19 Pull the props back a bit. I turn the lights on. These don't look good. Okay. The lights are on. Engine instruments are full. I guess we'll go a little more indirect then. So that the old eyes can see it. Those mountains are going to make for some fine base camps. Climb and maintain flight level 210 Envoy Tree 515. Envoy Tree 515 climb and maintain flight level 270. Climb and maintain flight level 270 Envoy Tree 515. Envoy 3515 climb and maintain flight level 350. Climb and maintain flight level 350 Envoy 3515. Flight level 270 Barley 01. Monterey Center, United 1161 Flight Level 360. United 1161 Monterey Center, continue as planned.
Center, United 1622, flight level 340. United 1622, Monterey Center, continue as planned. We've got about 20 minutes. All the systems are checked. Nominal. Costera 632, contact Houston Center on 127. Check on some work orders. Uh -oh. Going to 127 decimal 8 Costera 632. I think there's one airplane that's getting its 100 hour done right now. Yep. And it's got 15, roughly 15 minutes left. Okay. That's a C-130. You don't get one can QX. Yeah, you're waiting. And this one's waiting on flight crew. That's uh, at the race. So nothing really needs a work order right now. But let's see who's going to be coming in soon. It's 4.30. No. Not for another six hours. Four hours. Three and a half. And then this one comes in. Don't really need much of anything right now. Monterey Center, American 2187, flight level 340. American 2187, Monterey Center, continue as planned. We are continuing to train. There we go. Got two pilots in training now. Trying to get everybody to look like this. So that it'll help us build our reputation. We've got flight attendants that are training. And our mechanics are almost there. We've got a couple that are training. Well, several that are training right now. But yeah, our mechanics are almost all perfect. And we have quite a few, because I don't like my planes sitting in maintenance hangars for 20 hours. And these guys aren't as expensive as having a plane sitting there for 20 hours. What is our reputation at now? Because reputation means more pilots. 86.21. Is that high enough to get us one more pilot? I don't know. the answer and I've already fueled up my FBOs for the day got all our training in all our planes that can have work orders do have them I mean I could do a second set of work orders rather wait until they are at least turned around um Hopefully this doesn't crash it. Yeah. Turn 
getting that off. That's where everybody is flying to. There's there's us. Flying down to Tampico. Got a bunch of C-130s that are heading towards RDU and back. Got an ATR over here working the Bahamas and the Keys. Got two ATRs here working uh, the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico City. And then there's uh, this one once it's flight crew. Because uh, I don't think there's anybody there right now, is there? One pilot. Two pilots. Flight attendant. Oh, there's a crew there. Let's get that ATR going. So, it show up as idle. There. Let's make sure that it has enough time on it. Doesn't need repairs or anything. It has uh, 55 hours left. Ooh. Uh, no, sir. It's time for an overhaul. On engine number one. I guess I have to spend those two points in a way I didn't want to quite yet, but yeah, this plane needs an overhaul. Okay. Um, great. Well, there's a surprise for you. Uh, we need to... Uh, good thing I left those two skill points in, uh, in reserve. Instead of spending them, because I thought about it. Where is... There, skills tree. And now we need to unlock building level two workshops in your FBO, which would allow us to replace engines or I think we need this, right? Don't you need level two to replace an engine? Let's find out. Okay, so let's go put that go put that plane in the shop and then tr see if it'll let us. Pretty sure that's how it works. Workshop. Uh, he's at. Uh, where, where? I want to make sure this is at K and QX, right? Airframe manage. I thought it was in here, so I thought it would tell you where it is right now. At least by Brat. You. Fair. K and QX, there it is, jeez. Okay, so and now we do have a workshop there. Okay, so we don't want we want to replace it. I guess that's how you tell it you want an overhaul, because there's no other right, there's no other way to it doesn't really need the hundred hour thing. But we need to Yeah, see the highest you can take it is eighty two percent. It's gonna or no, I could take it to 97. But I, I'm, I'm guessing that's how you do this, is replace. And then since we're here, we can go ahead and repair this one. For now. Time between... Uh, 2,500 hours, right. So this engine has 20... 2596 on it, so it's time. So uh, I'm guessing that's what this is for is to replace the engine, which is not really you know, you over, overhaul it. Doesn't necessarily mean replacing it, but I'm just. Oh, yeah, see? It's going to call a maintenance truck because we can't do it. So, yeah, we need to go spend the skill points. So now we know for sure. So let's go spend those two points. Six descent and maintain 5,000 feet. Plus. Five skill points. Okay, so now... Let's go back and start this over again just to make sure. Manage. Workshop. We'll repair this one to 98. We'll replace this one. And we'll go ahead and repair our airframe to 98. Okay, now can I not need a truck? Why does it need a maintenance truck? Contact Monterey Center on 124.5. Good day. 
Why, why am I spending a million dollars on a maintenance truck? One, two, four, decimal five for air shuttle six, two, one, eight. Okay. Well, I didn't think I was going to have anything to show in, in, on air today, but apparently we do. K and QX. Is turbo. Oh, I haven't upgraded it yet. Uh, yes, I added the skill points, but I have to actually upgrade it to a level two. Like that. Allows annual checkups and engine replacements. Yep, that's... That's what we're missing. Okay, so get a quote for that. It's going to take a day. Okay, well, we're going to have to... I'm going to set that one loose for a day, because I'm not paying a million dollars to have a truck come out. Are you crazy? Okay, yeah, we'll have to... So we'll do that overhaul tomorrow. And why don't we go ahead and upgrade our other turboprop shop now. Before we run into this thing again, level two. There we go. That's done, and then uh, we can now uh, we can send that other turboprop off to do work for a day. Oh, I guess we could at least re repair it. We don't want it to get stuck anywhere. Now I got three idle. Oh, I got a C-130 that's now... Uh, oh, this one just came out of the shop. <laughs> Good lord. Suddenly we have lots to do, don't we? This one's still got a work order, but these two don't. Okay. Well, let's get the C-130 going first. Uh... Monterey Center on 124.5. Good day. Yeah, it just came out of its 100 hours. For Barley 01. Monterey Center Barley 01 flight level 270. Barley 01 Monterey Center, continue as planned. Okay. Well, since that one is good, let's do a work order on it. Said. Oh, we have to ferry it. It's it's not where it's it's not at its home base. It needs to go to KMTH. It's at the it's at the whatever maintenance center. But yeah, we have to ferry this to KMTH. Then it can get. Okay, so that's going to KMTH. I guess I should have looked at how long it was going to be doing that. Monterey Center American 2187 flight level 340. So we'll set it for 1800. American 2187 Monterey Center, continue as planned. 1800, keep that in your head. KMTH 1800. KMTH 1800 Crew Crew and you're going to KI Wichita and then back
we need to find some more stuff. Monterey Center, Envoy 389er, one flight level 340. Envoy 389er, one Monterey Center, continue as planned. was incorrect. We can carry 80. This is a C-130, not an ATR. Oh, we can do uh, 18 more. That's better. Oh. I'm gonna knock off. Even if we didn't carry any of these, I don't think we're gonna get them all. Eight. There's nobody else to kick off down here. We still could use about 7,000 pounds of stuff. We don't have enough stuff. That job was supposed to have more cargo on it than... No, it doesn't. It says more passengers. Err. Okay, it lied to me. Okay. The next pick, the next C-130 will pick them up. Need something with a lot of cargo and not very many passengers. That's as close as that's going to get. Aeromexico 658 descent and maintain flight level 370. Aero releases 900 treat 6 climb and maintain flight level 250. Descend and maintain flight level 370 Aeromexico 658. Climb and maintain flight level 250 Aero releases 900 treat 6. Okay, that was more painful than it needed to be, but done. Now for the trip back. Climb and maintain flight level three. That's flight already taken care of. Aero releases 900 treat 6 climb and maintain flight level 360. That'll do it. Okay, so 
And that work order is waiting for the plane whenever it gets here. So there's one more ATR that needs a work order, but I think we're getting pretty... Yeah, we're 20 minutes out, so we're going to be starting to send. I'm not going to start another work order just yet. But hey, you get to see a work order for you, for you guys that love those. I need to get these base camp kits down there and go do some yard work. Got to fire up the chipper. A chipper. May actually need the timer here. Depending on what, what they give us. Right now, we're expecting ILS-13. I guess I could... If we get lucky. Costera Niner Niner 4 traffic is 4 o'clock 4 miles at flight level 370 Boeing 737. Report them in sight. Aeromexico 658 traffic is 9 o'clock 4 miles at flight level 350 Ember. Report them in sight. Yep. We gotta go to the VOR. And then do the procedure turn. Aeromexico 658 have the traffic. Oh, okay. Well, that's different than I was expecting. That wasn't. Okay. Uh, well, that's not on here. <laughs> but okay. So that means we'll be coming into it. So we want the 319 radio then. That'll be interesting. Yeah, so, so it looks like you pass. So once we get even with the VOR, we turn to intercept three one nine. Then when we cross the VR, VOR, we turn out to 339. We take that out to DME 8.0. And turn around, and then we go to 139 on Tampico, and then switch over to the ILS. I think I'm going to tune the second radio to the ILS. So that'll show up here while this one will be everything else. Well, that's interesting. And 
and with my luck, it'll be a... They'll give me a totally different approach that I haven't briefed. And that happened when I flew into Mexico City last time. Wasn't it Mexico City? I think it was. Oh, where, where, where was I flying into? Oh, Cancun. Yeah, it was Cancun that gave me the crazy... Instead of giving me the ILS approach, gave me the VOR DME approach. And that may just be a thing, you know, flying in, Me in Mexico. I've never actually flown in Mexico. May they, maybe they really like their VORs. Or maybe <laughs> there's something wrong with their ILSs. I don't know. Ocean on one side, and the mountains on the other. And uh, I guess I forgot to mention the reason I'm doing this base, sudden interest in the base camps again uh, is because now it's two weeks and three days until industries. So we'll be able to turn these into hunting camps once I figure out how that works. Uh, and also what happens on exactly the same day, April 25th, is... Supposedly, according to the dev roadmap, mm. the ATRs will be released. So, I don't know. It almost feels worthy of a, taking a day. Taking a day for myself and doing a crap ton of flying in, an, in the ATR, because I'm going to have to do some familiarization stuff first. Okay. 190. Descend and maintain flight level 190 Barley 01. Descent checklist. Okay. 
Ascent checklist complete. The only thing we haven't done yet is switching this over to local altimeter. But we haven't... We haven't been uh, cleared lower than 19... Uh, lower than flight level 180, so not time to do that yet. Maintain 13,000 feet, Barley 01. All right, now we've been cleared below. We don't know what the local barometer is, so we will have to push the secret button. Because I can't just call ATC and ask for an altimeter setting. Good day. 
126.6 barley 01. Center barley 01 is at 17,600 feet, descending 13,000 feet. Barley 01 center altimeter 29.86. Oh. Continue to barley as is planned. 2986. Perfect. Maintain 7,000 feet, Barley 01. Tampico right now is our busiest international operation center. Uh, four C-130s uh, fly out of there, in and out of there every day. Five air crews. Or three, three C-130s and five air crews, yeah. When we can get enough pilots, it might have a fourth one. See if it can generate enough jobs, and as long as it can keep generating more 
passengers and cargo than we can carry. I'm going to keep shoving C-130s at it. Center Envoy 38901, flight level 340. Envoy 38901, center, continue as planned. Of course she did. Clear to Tango Alpha Mike. Via OR DME 1. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect VOR DME 1 runway 1 tree approach via Tango Alpha Mike transition. Clear to Tango Alpha Mike Barley 01. Don't need you anymore. BRD me one. Okay. This looks just like the ILS one. We just don't get an ILS. Cleared for the approach. We need to get down to 2,000. One seventeen five. That is what is loaded. How far away are we? Twenty-eight point six. Straight for MTM, and then tear just gonna yeah tear drop it. You told me I was cleared for the approach. Fine. Erwin leases nine or zero three six center. Continue as planned. Climb and maintain seven thousand feet, Barley zero one. Barley zero one, contact Tampico approach on one two zero decimal three. 
good day. One two zero decimal tree barley zero one. Tampico approach barley zero one is passing six thousand two hundred feet, climbing seven thousand feet. Barley zero one Tampico approach altimeter two nine or decimal eight five. Continue to tango alpha mic as planned. We have to be down at 2,000 feet by TAM. And that's in um, 18 miles. Barley zero, one descent and maintain 2,000 feet. That took you long enough. Descend and maintain 2,000 feet barley, zero one. Right, landing lights on. that haze layer that Sky Vector showed. Props are full, fuel condition high idle, lights are on, approach checklist, uh, fuel balance, pedo heat we turned off, right? All off, yep. This is going to be another instance where the GPS won't fly a procedure turn when it should. Because we're coming in like this, we should go out, teardrop, and come back, then turn off 339. That's not on the chart. Descend and maintain 1,800 feet, Barley 01. Barley 01, you are six miles north of Tampico. Contact Tampico Tower on 118 Decimal Tree when inbound on the approach. Of course, my co-pilot is going to do it now, even though, even though we're not inbound. Tampico Tower, Barley, 015 five miles, north inbound 4 DME, 1 runway, 1 tree approach. Barley 01, Tampico Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 88, wind 056 at 6. Cleared the or DME, 1 runway, 1 tree approach. Barley 01, wind 056 at 6. Cleared 
to land runway one tree. How am I already cleared? I haven't even started the whole Clear freaking land approach. Runway one tree barley zero one. Okay, where are we going? Heading. Now we're Tampico Ground Costera two four one five requesting the end of pushback. We should be at two thousand here, but they already cleared us to eighteen hundred. But whatever. But now when we get to the VOR again, we want to go on an outbound track three three nine. Tampico Ground Costera two four one five ready to taxi IFR. Costera 2415 taxi 2 and haul short of runway 1 tree via taxiway. Contact tower on 118 decimal tree when ready. Taxiing hold short runway 1 tree via taxiway Costera 2415. And there's a flip. Just maintain 1800. 
We'll go out to DME 8. Tampico Tower, Costera, 2415, ready for IFR departure runway 13. Costera, 2415, hold short runway 13. Traffic is Beechcraft King Air on final. Looking for this to get to 8.0, and then we'll start a turn to the 139 radio. It's slowing down a little bit, too. helping. Looks like we already have IL, the ILS showing up. But we're doing the VOR DME approach, so the ILS is just back up. Although it would give us glide slope, which would be candy. All right, we are slow enough. We get to DME 8 again. There it is. Flaps. And let's descend to 1400. DME 5.0, we start our three degree. Definitely instruments. And the ILS is showing no glide slope yet, which we wouldn't expect until maybe here, if it was going to work. But we're getting pretty close to that. We're okay, I still can't see. Six hundred. One. Off to the right. Just does not. 
not want to play. There's the runway. Okay, missed approach. Wind calm. Yeah. We're going missed. Wow. Yeah, that's... When it says it's not a precision approach, it means it... Okay, so we're going missed. Bring up one notch of flaps. Gear up. Power in. Uh, and of course... Go tower Barley. Zero one is going missed. Barley zero one contact Tampico approach on one two zero decimal tree. Good day. Let's get back up to 1800 feet. Going to one two zero decimal tree Barley zero one. Let's go. Tampico approach Barley zero one is missed approach at Tampico. Barley zero one you are one mile southeast. Climb and maintain 2000 feet. Expect the or DME one runway one tree approach via Tango Alpha mic transition. Clear to Tango Alpha mic. Climb and maintain 2,000 feet. Expect VOR DME one runway, one tree approach via Tango Alpha Mic transition. Clear to Tango Alpha Mic Barley zero one. Okay, so we get to try that one again. So missed approach is all the way out to DME seven. And we need to set this for three three nine. Wasn't a terrible approach until uh didn't see the runway in time. And this was set to the ILS the whole time and it never it never captured. That ILS approach is not configured or something. Alright, DME seven, let's go ahead and turn. We can tell it to go back on nav mode once it's roughly the right direction. So we're back on nav mode. Now there's ILS is showing up here. power back.
Hopefully we'll see the runway in time this time. Fuel is not an issue. The beatings will continue until morale improves. Just gonna hold the 339 radio a little flip from to to from. Descend and maintain 1,800 feet, Barley 01. We're going to hold this until we get to DME 8. Our next drop is to 1400. Well, on that last flight, the Cancun flight, I did say I wanted to do more practice with VOR DME approaches. I guess the flight simulator heard me. Decimal tree barley zero one. Tampico Tower Barley zero one six miles north inbound four DME one runway one tree approach. Barley zero one Tampico Tower. Altimeter two nine or decimal eight eight wind zero five six at six. Cleared the or DME one runway one tree approach. Cool. Cleared VOR DME. Now let's see if I can actually do it. Tree approach barley zero one. One mile to go. First notch flaps. And we hit, there we go, we need to down to 1400. Barley 
Gear down. Clear to land runway one tree barley zero one. At DME five. Our descent. And look for a runway. Laps are down. Three greens on the gear. Props full. Anybody see a freaking runway yet? There it is. Oh God. Landing time logged. Tampico Ground, Barley 01, request taxi to parking. Barley 01, taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway alpha. Okay, I have to Taxiing to general aviation parking. Oh, we're on taxiway alpha. Alpha Barley 01. <laughs> and there's somebody waiting to park us. Lucky us. Okay, what direction is he faced? Wait, is he waiting to. No, he's not parking us. He's standing there, but he's not there to help us. He has, he's just waiting on the cart. Okay, I guess we park ourselves. Uh, over there? That looks like our building over there. Cause he's, he's definitely not planning to park us. And nobody else around. Okay, so we'll park over there. We declare these buildings ours. And you guys just let me know if you see anybody that's planning to park us or if we're just going to do our own thing down here. This looks like general aviation. This looks like a couple of bonanzas. Still nobody wants to park us. Okay. Yes, I'll be 
about a few there Well, Sunday, would Sunday be good? Nothing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's say 4 o'clock. Park right in between them. All good. Parking brakes on. All right. Turn off all the stuff we don't need. Engine off time logged. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. Yes, I'll be leaving on the 14th. All right. Well, then, why don't we try to schedule something for next weekend? That is some of the loudest cargo ever, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. four o'clock. Okay. You guys can quit chit chatting and exit. All right. We're done here. I hope you enjoyed this short little flight and, of course, a missed approach with a haze that was right at minimums, if not slightly below. But, uh, can't really tell because this thing freaked out. I don't know why it does that. I don't just care about this. Not anymore. Whatever. So, uh, we got a very smooth on our landing. We got all our bonuses. We brought all our base camp thingies with us. So that'll be ready for the second set of flights, which will be the Cessna. In a few hours, I've got to go do some yard work. Thanks for flying with me. Barley out.